Now we are again like in different city. <laughs> but it's not, it's Delhi. It's such a colorful city. With so nice and green area. To this crazy traffic everywhere. And see how everybody is crossing and riding and driving. So the rules are no rules. It's a big green spot here on the right side, like a park surrounded with this concrete jungle apartment. Very interesting. So I guess this is the place we're gonna wait and shoot some birds. Shoot with cameras, not with guns. <laughs> Just to make it clear. So you can see how many birds, maybe you cannot because the, the camera usually is just uh, make everything on distance but you can see these black birds, you can see the strokes over there and many more so we're gonna stay here and hunting for birds, yeah? Shooting birds, but shooting shooting birds with cameras not with guns, <laughs> not with guns, it's a big difference. My friend ready to action. <laughs> this is how a wildlife photographer spending his time looking to the binoculars, holding a big camera <laughs> and trying to find something. And now we move to another place where we're gonna have a better chance to see more birds. Somebody burned something. So uh, now see this. These are not adventure riders. They just sell milk and, and need to transport it somehow. Ah, okay. Now I see this is some kind of uh, national park with a lot of birds. So we're gonna stay here. All right, good. So it is Sultanpur National Park. Okay, good. So we just entered in the park. And uh, Anurag know where exactly to go. He said that it is uh, too late because we need to leave the city and we need to escort our friends. But at least we'll be able to, to see something. It's a huge park, but he know exactly where we need to go. It's very, very beautiful. Uh, I don't know what you're able to see. You see, the, the camera is a wide angle and just push them so far away. But there are two antelopes, one there and another one behind. You can hear the shutter. Ah, nice position, huh? A lot of waiting in this profession. But it's always well paid when you got a nice shot. This guy is very interesting for me. Very. Good morning. You must be surprised at who is there, who stole the camera of Pavlin. So we are here in a Sultanpur bird sanctuary and you know, we, we thought just uh, take over the each other's profession. So he, see what he is doing. He is clicking photography and I'm and I have become his uh, cameraman. And you can listen the uh, sh uh, shutter, shutter shots and see what he is clicking. I don't know whether you will be listening. Uh, so we're seeing uh, the antelope I, I, over I there. Try, I try to be professional, but it's so difficult. <laughs> this camera is so heavy. Actually, it's I'm moving cold. And this time. is, mind you, this is my one of the lightest camera. Okay, so you need to focus first. And, then... and this is such a beautiful yeah. century. And Pavlin is yeah. Pavlin is clicking antelopes, which uh, I will show you later, uh, because it's very far. Cannot be possible with an action camera. Yeah. 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 Cameras there, white angle, and you actually you see nothing. But later on the pictures will be will be nice. 
Let me show this moment, huh? Just okay. Okay. Where we are. Oh, this is this is so zoom. <laughs> you cannot watch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, minimum is 100. <laughs> uh, maybe. maybe. Min minimum is 100. You can click me from here. Okay. That is not an issue. See who ah, this nah. Two cameras, one is a selfie and another one is this. Okay, one here is a binocular. <laughs> okay, click. Okay, yes, you got it. I got it. See, who's clicking? <laughs> I got it. This will be nice. So guys, we, we really having a, a good fun. It's something new for me. I love it. I, I love photography, but I never got a chance to have such a gear. But it's just nice. It's, the, the park is wonderful. You are against light. Yeah, the yeah. park is wonderful, and uh, this is just uh, a great experience. I love animals, but I am not a hunter. I just prefer to shoot them instead of, of hunt them. So it's an absolutely pleasure. Thank you very much for bringing me here. Huh? Most pleasure. Let's go forward. There's so many. If you know what to look for, thousands of birds here. There is a big trees over there, like an island of trees, and it is full with birds. And I can see it with the binoculars there. Yeah. Amazing. So many different colors, but the limitations of these action cameras are just... Yeah, you can't have everything at the same time. It is beautiful, but listen to the noise now. So guys, it was a real pleasure for me to come here and spend about two hours watching the birds, making some pictures. Very nice. I love it. Now go back to the city, find something to eat. So actually we ate in this restaurant. It was excellent. Excellent food. Great and just on the road, on the right side on the road, but excellent food. I really enjoyed it. Man, it's so hot, 36 or 7, something like that, and we're stuck on these two traffic lights for at least 20 minutes. I saw, finally I saw this Lotus Temple. This is one busy street. <laughs> Pedestrians. Fortunately I cannot see anything from anywhere. And I'm not gonna wait all of these people just to see the Lotus Temple. Maybe it's interesting, but no, forget about it. Now I'm about to show you the most beautiful part of Delhi. In front of us, covered with mist, this is the President House and most of the beautiful buildings in Delhi. Behind me is the India Gate, but we'll ride first direction to the President House. We'll show everything over there and then we'll come back just to have an idea what is Delhi or the most beautiful part of uh, Delhi have a look now on the left and right hand side is a beautiful park with a lot of fountains during the nights there all of the fountains are illuminated it's, it's a really really beautiful place and now in front of us are the most interesting uh, buildings we'll see where we can get with the bikes and then we'll stop and walk just to see the the rest I was here last time when I was here on the way to Ladakh. We came and visited here during the, the night. 
I saw all of these three colors like uh, orange, uh, green and red, so actually the Indian flag and everything was very beautiful. Now it's not exactly the time for shooting session because it is uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, the sun is too high, but at least you will have an idea what is the city center of uh, Delhi. Okay, so we can get over there, yeah, next to the rickshaws. Okay, okay. Oh, maybe to, to the top. All right. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Good. What is this? Folks or or eagles? Okay. Look at this. That is our parliament, right inside. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, all right. This was the parliament, yeah. So this is the parliament on the right hand side. This round building and the president house is there yeah, yeah right and these two buildings on the right uh, 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 PM office. okay Prime Minister office. okay Pre defense ministry, defense ministry, all the major okay so prime minister offices defense minister and many more ministers are, are here so most of the government most of the government buildings yeah, yeah? All, all, uh, all okay uh, all right okay Okay. No All right. All right, go. Okay, so it's impossible to go in. I don't really want to walk. Uh, we're not going to walk. Sorry guys, but now on, on 40 degrees to walk on that hill with my helmet on my head, it's not going to be something I would love to do. Anyway, so this is the the top city center and now we're gonna face the Indian gate. Here are located also most of the embassies, all beautiful buildings, Every, everywhere is just uh, like one different city. But the fact is that uh, while you're riding around every couple of kilometers, you have like a totally, totally different city from very very poor area with a lot of poor people and, and you can see you can actually smell the poverty to the very rich areas like here with green and all of that stuff so it's a really really big city so the official population of uh, Delhi is uh, 15 or almost 20 million people but uh, actually in the last three years the city uh, rise with three million people they have so many immigrants from everywhere from uh, Bangladesh mostly and uh, the, the city actually rising every single day see all the flowers and the parks left and right and this is the Indian gate just right in front of us again I cannot go in we have to park and walk but we're not gonna do it just we'll, we'll go like this so this guys is Indian gate So again, on the left and right hand side, all government buildings, embassies, this beautiful roundabout with palm trees, it's, this is really nice area, looks like a very modern European city, have nothing common with the rest of Delhi, so actually it is, it is divided to many different like uh, 
uh, like districts like uh, New Delhi, Delhi, and I, I forget the name. There are so many names actually, and all of it makes this huge, huge city. And yeah, we, we have some traffic here, but it's nothing compared to the traffic uh, around the neighborhoods, around the the, the districts. And these rickshaws are everywhere. All right. What is this? Another one roundabout with palm trees. At least, guys, there is a uh, uh, traffic lights here, and people stopping on the red lights, so it is absolutely not that bad. People really obey the rules. Not really, but at least it's not like uh, Pakistan. Okay, I think that uh, Delhi is uh, one of the greenest cities in this area. I'm not so sure exactly what was the number of the of the greenest spots, uh, I mean the percentage, but it's uh, definitely very green here. A few more interesting buildings here. Just to let you know guys, if you have your international credit card, Visa or MasterCard, most of the banks doesn't work with it. So the one it works always, no exception in Pakistan, here in India, is a standard charter at Also Citibank and uh, uh, HFBC or another one, I will, I will tell you later. But standard charter at and Citibank definitely work. So finally, we get out of the madness and go back to Anurag apartment because we're on the road from uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, now it's 3.30. It's time to start for a while. Let me show you something interesting, guys. So, today I bought one t-shirt from the shop. Because the old one I've got, it's already worn out. And I don't need it anymore. And I want to keep the balance three t-shirts, I don't need more. And uh, I was planning to just to throw it away when uh, Anura told me, Oh, don't do it, we'll go to a special place where you can just give it to someone who need it. So we came actually to this place here, which is written for those who are needed or something like that. So I'm gonna hand get this shirt here, and I hope it will be used for someone because it was used for me for more than two years and a lot of trips. So that's it. So this now is the Red Fort. Beautiful building. So this is this is the most famous uh, point of uh, Red Fort and over there where the terrace is, where the, 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 the pole is and the small terrace with rails every year on the 26th of January the Prime Minister of India just giving a speech of course it's a very crowdy, crowdy spot even that it's uh, Sunday there's so many people and the white is yeah, so uh, these white couples, uh, couples over there, there are seven on, on number, they have uh, something significant, this, uh, they are not just accidentally built, they mean that the king who built this fort has won seven battles, and that's why they have these seven different uh, couples over there. Anurag brought me here to this beautiful spot just on the right time, sunset, to show you the largest temple in Archerdam. Actually, it was built recently on 2010, but it's a beautiful, beautiful structure. And, and see where I'm sitting, on the highway, just on the bridge on the highway. And behind me, 
is this beautiful thing.